Hello, math people. Um, I just thought that before we get into the notes, I should at least let you know a couple of things that you might need um, as we talk about surface area and prisms. So today we're talking about surface area and rectangular prisms. And in order to do notes, I'd really recommend that you have um, a pen or a pencil, preferably pencil. Um, and if you have any highlighters, three colors of highlighters, or you can use like pencil crayons. Um, it could also help you out a lot with your assignment. Um, Cause you know, I like to bring in different colors to differentiate some stuff out. So gather your things when you've got everything that you need. Start the rest of the video. Uh, learn a little bit about calculating surface area. Good news for you today. It's nothing really new from uh, last week, just a bit of a different spin. So I hope you have a great week. Okay, and welcome to another week where the lighting still isn't good, and Mrs. Prinz still makes up all her own examples, just kind of randomly. Um, so today, or at least the original day this is posted, May 11th, 2020. <clears throat> and we are looking at surface area of rectangular prisms. The really good thing is that None of this is going to require anything more um, than what you already know. So we are going to be taking a rectangular prism, breaking it down into its nets, figuring out all the dimensions, and then calculating the surface area. So basically the area of each of the surfaces of the rectangular prism. So one rectangular prism that I have nearby is a box of Kleenex. So um, I, of course, don't have a measuring tape on me, but let's just imagine we're trying to find the surface area of a tissue box. This and um, we're going to imagine that we haven't taken that little tab thing out at the top. Okay. Um, let's kind of make a few estimations as to just how long um, our tissue boxes. Uh, these are probably super incorrect. I'm going to put a dimension here of 10 centimeters. Um, let's estimate 7 centimeters and let's say this length is about 20 centimeters. Okay. And now we want to break this down into its nets. So one of the things that I like to do is just kind of start at the bottom and let all the pieces almost like flop open. So I'm going to start with this bottom panel. And if you're following along by drawing, that was your opportunity to have some calming highlighting time. So we're going to take this bottom panel. And just roughly draw it out. It might not be perfect. We know that its shorter side is the 10 centimeters. 
and its longer side is 20 centimeters. Okay. And I'm going to color that in pink just so that I can keep everything sorted in my head because that's the most difficult part of all of this. Okay. Now let's start showing the other sides here. I've got this side here. And I'm going to draw that just right down here. So these have the same length, but slightly different widths. This is, has this dimension here of the seven centimeters, but we still have the 20 centimeters across here. Now falling from the other side of this pink portion, I have another side with the same dimensions as the yellow portion, so it's going to be yellow as well. And again, seven centimeters. And usually I kind of decide where I'm going to put this top portion based on how much room I have. Um, I have a bit more room if I go towards the bottom here, uh, but this top portion is going to be the same as the bottom. So I'm going to draw really similarly. And again, 10 centimeters. And finally, you can see I haven't taken into this kind of front and back panel. And these are also attached to this center kind of piece. Its dimensions are seven centimeters and 10 centimeters. So we have that 10 centimeter side represented and seven centimeters on this side. And we have the same thing in the back there, which means we have this very very multicolored piece of paper and drawing. And again, seven centimeters. So when we're trying to calculate the surface area, we can basically break it down to um, being two green sides plus two pink sides plus two yellow sides. And the way to kind of sum this up a little bit better is I usually try to think about, um, sorry, my dog is barking right now, so I'm getting a little distracted. Um, <laughs> I try to think of these dimensions as length and width and height. So I usually take this side, this longer side, to be my length. 
this side here to be my width and this to be my height. And we do our cursive symbols for whatever reason. So if I was looking at my two green sides, my two green sides are the length, sorry, the width times the height. So I have two width times height. When I'm looking at my two pink sides, they are length and width. So I have two length times width. And then when I'm looking at my yellow sides, they are the length, the 20 centimeters, and the height, seven centimeters. So that's how I end up with a formula. So basically, if I'm looking for you to give me a formula for my surface area of the rectangular prisms, this is it here. This is what I'm asking for if I'm looking for a net with the dimensions. So now let's use this formula. I have these two green sides, two times seven times 10. For my two pink sides, I have two times the 20 times 10. And then for my yellow sides, I have two of the 20 times the seven. Okay. Additionally, you can just calculate the area of each of these different sides and then add them all together. This is just kind of the quicker way. So when I start calculating two times seven times 10, I get 140. When I go 2 times 20 times 10, I get 400. 2 times 20 times 7, 280. And then I start to add them all together. You got it? 820. Now, I'm not quite done there. I need to include my units when it comes to surface area. It is centimeters that we've seen all of the side lengths. And because we will multiply centimeters by centimeters, we end up with centimeters squared. Area is always unit squared. Always. Okay. Let's do one more example where we'll draw the net as well, but we'll go through it a little bit more quickly and then we'll use the formula. So I'll draw you another beautiful, um, beautiful rectangular prism. And we're going to say this is 2 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters. All oh, the lengths are the same. It means it's a cube. So for this case, we can still solve it the same way even when all the side lengths are the same. It just means we have a much uh, generally easier net to draw. So again, I'm going to do my top and bottom here in pink. Let's draw the bottom here. Two meters by two meters. Oh good, my cat has also joined in by scratching at the door. I know what I'll be doing once I'm done fumbling this. Um, and then let's include, I think I had colored them yellow, the sides. Okay. 
again. They are two meters by two meters. And this time I'm just going to put the top at the top because I have no. And now let's take a look at adding in the front and the back. And again, all the extra dimensions are two meters. So basically, this is our bottom. This is our top. Uh, this is our right. Left. Front. And back. So just make sure you consider all those sides. And again, I still consider this length, width, and height. So let's use our formula to figure out our surface area. And I just write down SA for surface area because we're lazy mathematicians. We don't want to write it all out if we know what SA means. So. Two length times width plus two length times height plus two width times height. Might have a different order than I did on the last page. General idea is you just want each of these, uh, you want each possible pair of the length, width, and height. So in this case, two times the length, which is two, times the width, which is two plus two times the length, which is still two, and the height, which is also two, plus two times the width, two, height, two. Two times two times two gives us eight. Two times two times two gives us eight. And two times two times two gives us eight. And we have 24. Our unit is meters. And what do we need to do? Square it. Okay, so this is the process that you can use for all of your rectangular prisms. Draw a net. Um, I do recommend if you've got some way of color coding all the sides to do so um, when you're getting acquainted with surface area. It can, can make it clearer. Uh, some people are really comfortable to jump straight to the formula. Keep in mind though, for some questions, I will be asking you to show the net. So keep that in mind. Um, don't just get comfortable with using the formula. So I hope that helps uh, and makes some sense. Um, I will have uh, office hours this week as well. Um, so you can ask questions then too. Have a, a great week.